Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic College Management System. So without much delay, we'll begin. So let's look at the requirements of this project. You will be requiring an IDE or an integral development environment for running and compiling the source code. Secondly, code blocks or VS code or any other text editor is suggested for a better experience. And thirdly, any operating system, it may be Windows 10 or any other latest version. Now we'll be moving to the code part. So here's the code. In the first four lines, you can see we have included all the header files. Then we have the standard line that is using namespace std. Then we have a function named int main, where the initial mark is allotted to a subject through the initialization of the various variables. Then the name of the file in which database is stored is inputted, that is the example.txt file. And here, in the loop, there is a loop which runs from i is equal to 0 to the getting line function from the example.txt file. So this basically counts the total number of lines in the file. So then we have a loop which runs from 1 to 6. Here it displays all the various operations that this code can do. Like available operations, adding new students, student login, faculty login, doctor login, admin view, exit. So you have to enter any option as per your choice. Then depending on your choice, you will be driven towards the particular segment and through that you will be driven towards the particular code. So if you move to the first statement, that is if you want to, the text one was add new students. So what are you going to do? You will be driven towards the example.txt file where the entire data of a single student is will be stored line by line. You have to enter your registration number. After entering your registration number, it asks you to enter your name. So while you enter your name correctly, then the your details are being stored to the file. Then it asks you to enter your proctor ID just to verify whether the person who is doing any kind of changes is authentic or not. Then we move to option two where it asks you to enter your registration number again. Again, the file will be opened. The example.txt file will be opened. In the registration number, after that, you have to enter your name, subject to one mark, subject to mark, and your proctor ID again. If whatever you have entered, the registration number is not found, it is simply displays that no such registration number is found. Third option, this is used to view and add marks to the database of a student. So here you can basically modify or change your marks as per the student's demand or as per the student's scored marks. Then, if you want to add a mark that is considered or if you want to modify the marks that is somehow considered suspicious. So basically it asks you warning, you would need to add the mark details for all the students. So basically you would have been the proctor, the admin or the admin. Here it asks you to seek in file has been done according to the length of the data being inserted. It needs to adjust it accordingly for different lengths of data. Basically, on the different lengths of data, our database has to be adjusted. So, we have to compare every subject marks with the marks which is imported by the admin. Then, in the next loop, you can see it's used to view the marks of a student. So, whatever marks you have entered, that marks need to be rechecked or need to be shown to the student. Next, we'll move on to the next slide. Okay. Here, this loop displays all the details of students under the same proctor ID. So whatever uh, details of the students are there, that will be displayed here. Then the next loop acts as an admin view to see all the data in the new files. So the next one is for the admin. Here the admin gets the scope to make any modifications or changes according to his or her desire. So this was the admin part. So now we are done with the code and I'll now show you the actual working of this code while we'll be moving to the VS code and be running the code and showing you. Here you can see after I run the code, I got an available operations and new student, student login, faculty login, doctor login, admin view or exit. So I simply press one so that I can add new students. So it is asking me enter the number of students. So I press two. 
and my registration number is one two three four. My name is say, Simran. Proctor ID is two three four five. Registration number again it's asking me I say one two three four. Enter your name is Shovna. Proctor ID is two three five six. So now again what can I do? I can just have the student login. So I press two. So it's asking me the registration number. I press one two three four. So it's saying me that registration number is one two three four. Name Simran. So subject marks I have not included right now. So now what can I do? Now I'll be going to the faculty login. So I press option three. My subject code is two. So the available operations are add data about marks or view data. So I have to add data about the marks. So we need to add the mark details for all the students, right? Okay. So now let me press four for the proctor login. My proctor ID is one. So it's saying me that this proctor ID is not found. So let me just have the uh, this file, my text file. I just want to see. Okay. So the proctor ID is two, three, four. I'm sorry. I somehow managed to get it wrong. No issue. I'll be running it again. Okay. No issue. I ran that again. Nah? So that's a problem. Just give me one minute. So I ran it again and see, we'll get again. I add a new student. Number of student will be one. Registration number will be one, two, three, four. Name is Shovna. My proctor ID is two, three, four, five. So here I have to student login. My registration number is one, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm not included the marks right now, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a faculty login again. So I faculty login. So I press here one. So I, I have to add data about the marks. I press one. So it's, it's saying me that you, you would need to add the mark details for all the students. Okay. So now let me have an admin view. The admin password is P A S S. So what I what I'm gonna do now? So now I'm going to have a uh, add students. So number of students is again one. Registration number is five six seven eight. My name is say Tulip. Doctor ID is three four five six. So here it's saved already. Now I can just, I show, showed you all the functions, right? So now I can just exit from this. Now I exited. So let me show you the example.txt file also. See, whatever we have inputted, whatever we gave it, stored here, right? This is this is the proctor ID. These are the marks which I gave it, gave it zero, my name and my college ID. So I think you understood the working of this code. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas and stay tuned to this channel, guys. Thank you and have a great day.